well hello guys so yes this is the weightage of your advanced accounting paper cut topics every time you ask to ask weightage 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 how many marks they will come this is your marks okay and i did not have i have not made this this is given by whom the mother body ica only which i have just downloaded i am sharing it with you that's fine now okay so now accounting standards all the accounting standards put together accounts for sir weights no i say always gives it in range it's not a pakka number it's a range so 20 to 26% of your total marks in examination will be coming from accounting standards alone okay then company accounts constitutes 33 to 38% under company accounts the topic covered are one is esop buyback of shares and a uh, buyback of shares and equity shares with the differential rights are one topic so these are the things that comes under the uh, the the company aspect of it okay sir in fact some more are there one uh, also liquidation amalgamation okay oh, liquidation amalgamation buyback esop all this are coming under company's accounts and they totally constitute how much 33 to 38 percent of your total marks in your examination. I have already told you the examination pattern on the first day itself. So you will be getting about six questions wherein you are supposed to answer five. So totally they will give you a paper for 120 marks. You wherein you are supposed to answer only for 100 marks. One is an optional, and first question is always compulsory. First question generally comes from accounting standard topic. Hence they have told 20 to 26 percentage. 20 marks straight away will be from AS. That's the pattern they're following since many years. I think that's going to stay. But anyway, that is the headache of exam setters. Let them worry about that. Okay, so then your uh, banking companies and NBFC, the topic that we did at the last, that covers 12 to 16 percentage. Golden, right? Almost 15 marks, literally. Somewhere around 10 to 15 marks from your bank and NBFC. You can prepare it quickly also. Yes, you have to remember a few percentages and provisions and you are more or less set. So that is your uh, constituents of that. I mean, those topics. Consolidated financial statements alone and partnership. These two put together accounts for 25 to 30 percent because generally they come for 20 marker straight question. 120 marker, 112 marker, something or 150, 120 marker, 115 marker, something like that. They play around. Hence, the weightage for these two topics is in the lit little lengthier. See, I am not a big believer of weightage. Many faculties advise that actually they also conduct their classes based on the weightage. That's what they do. I personally believe that everything is important because weights are always in range. When you are underprepared, no, you always think it will come for 12%. But sometimes luck will not be in your hands. They last for 16%. You assume lower weights, but they can give you for higher weights so things can go a little wrong there so hence i have i was not a big believer even when i was a student i never bothered much about the weights normal preparation i used to do it the way i felt was in terms of how the topics are interconnected that's how i used to prepare revision right on the last day you have to revise one day you will have no one one and a half days before examination you have that if you want you can revise based on this weightage category but because normally what happens is when you are revising on the last day and all, no, pressure will always be there. So if you start with simpler topics, no, if you start with say like here the simpler topics are maybe you could say buyback, ESOP, these are pretty straightforward. And some of the accounting standards are very, very straightforward. If you start preparing for, of those, no, at the back of your mind, there will always be one constant reminder. See, oh, still consolidation is pending, still partnership is pending. They are all big, big topics takes a lot of time to revise so if you start with smaller topics having lesser weightage you'll always have a burden that still big big topics are there i don't know how much time it will take i don't know whether i'll have to cover them or i'll have time to revise everything like this these sort of anxiety issues many students face hence what you can do is first do off big big topics first revise off big big topics so that what one pressure is kept aside because you know that if you like prepare of consolidation and uh, partnership firm 30 marks of your paper you are covered another accounting standard if you prepare another almost 30 percent is covered i mean 60 percent of the paper now covered means now you'll have the confidence say huh, another 40 percent somehow i'll be able to pull through. 
so you can revise keeping these parameters in mind but preparation i never did according to you but that is your choice if you want to prepare based on this also personally you are good many advocate this but i don't advocate this i'm not for in this fine sir all right so i'll be sharing this with you as well it's it's there in the ica website if you go to board of studies knowledge portal you will be able to see this if you want i'll share this copy as well it's already there on our arivo pro ka platform the paid version i mean uh, i can also ask them to put it under the normal your yeah, live online version also i can ask them to put it that's not a big deal fine people so we have covered all the topics the syllabus is completed and i have tried my best to incorporate all the types of questions possible from my end with respect or with with the amount of time that i had okay but having said that also do expect some bouncers in examination one or two question doesn't matter how much you prepare doesn't matter whom you take the coaching from whether you do self study or you take all india best faculty ka coaching doesn't matter 10 to 15 marks so somewhere around 15 to 20 markers in examination will be little on the trickier side because these accounts and all no are there since almost 20 25 years institute has a lot of database as far as these chapters are concerned because they have not changed too much so icai has a lot of resources can we cover can any faculty for that matter or any student for that matter cover 25 year ka papers 25 years into 2 50 attempts ka paper will you revise along with study material that is too much yes no no practically impossible everyone know what they normally do study material questions they prepare or tp mtp for one or two attempts they'll prepare and go that is what i also did that is what most of the students and rank holders also in fact do and practically because you it's more important that you become what chartered accountant or rather you have to clear ca intermediate yes no accounts is not the only subject right if accounts is the only subject you could have done everything for accounts only but obviously you need to create all the eight papers currently so that means you have a limited time you have to devote how much ever time you are devoting for accounts same amount of time you may have to give it for tax costing also if not more so you need to plan so this is good enough fair enough so don't worry about that few one or two tricky question that comes and do not skip your attempt come what may many students even before they'll register for examination their preparation if it is not going as per the plan simply they will drop out once you have registered it is counted as an attempt even if you don't attend it is still considered as what first attempt gone and first attempt is fail it will be considered even if your preparation is not good no bigger deal go and write anyway you are chilling at home chill at examination hall no worries but do go and write doesn't matter you can get even five marks also no bigger deal just go and feel the exam atmosphere if you have not prepared no problem see the anxious look on other friends and enjoy <laughs> no chill but do go doesn't matter anyway failure no no big deal i'm saying just in case you have not prepared come what may go and write the examination giving up should never be the option till the last moment you should fight it out because you never know your luck because i have seen many students who say sir pakka this time i will only get 25 30 they end up getting 50 55 yeah seriously this has happened to many of them they end up saying i'll get 80 sir ha ah, they will end up getting 20 also that has also happened reversal case so valuation how it works that is not your headache so do not worry about that and once you have written a particular paper do not start valuing the paper this i will get that many marks that i will get this many marks that is not your job especially you should not do it after your examination because for the next examination you have only one and a half days prepare that accounts is over means accounts is dead to you at least till you write all the papers after that sit and do whatever you full valuation you no problem but attempt well, i mean prepare with a forget about that paper and concentrate on the next paper okay all right some papers will definitely go in your favor some paper may not go in your favor that are part and parcel of ca examination every student goes through this bundle of emotions don't get disturbed by that all right there will be you know, you know what happens normally we keep comparing with our friends our accounts paper didn't go well but your friend is saying amazing 90 pakka you know what you'll feel <laughs> you'll feel one like punching him <laughs> you will not punch him obviously yeah but but what will happen to your morale he'll come down but we have seen that in fact it has happened to me in one of my when the person no one person was uh, writing the examination above in the examination hall one person was sitting in front of me 
that guy you know used to take additional sheets like crazy <laughs> One and a half hours over, sir. He asked for additional questions. I was like, ah, ah, what is this? Bakka ranker. Uh, 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 back, back, back then, no. Roll number, you know, right? If you are some number, means he will be one number before or one number after. I punched in his number because I was curious. More than my marks, I was curious about this mark. He has taken so much of additional sheet. Fail, sir. 25. Why? Because some of their handwritings are really big. So do not worry about all those unnecessary things. Fair enough. So these are some things, some mistakes which we have committed. You don't commit that. Learn in life. No, every mistake you cannot commit on your own. Some you have to learn from others also. So there are some mistakes which we and others have done. We'll try to learn from them. Obviously, you'll make your own set of mistakes that you can share it with me. I will tell it to the next batch of students. Okay, but for now, try to incorporate and try to correct whatever mistakes has already been done by the others as well. Okay. And more importantly, do not ignore the mock papers. Do write at least for every paper, at least one mock paper, minimum, minimum. Don't blindly go and write the mock paper, prepare rules. Just like that, if you write mock paper, because the intention of mock paper is to test how much time you are taking under each question, because definitely I could write and give you two or three papers in your eight papers will be little lengthy, which we don't know. That keeps changing every attempt. Could be accounts, could be law, could be tax, whatever. It will be a little lengthy. So from day one, I've been telling you that you have to increase your writing speed. Okay. So mock paper writing no, will definitely kind of help you in that regard. Help you to time the things better. And also it will kind of give you an idea. How's your preparation level as compared to the examination? Don't worry about how much you are scoring. Just get an idea as to what sort of questions you could expect. And when you see the questions, how are you feeling about those? Are you feeling comfortable that, huh, yes, I have prepared these sort of questions and I am able to attempt these. So a lot of silly mistakes you can identify when you write the paper on your own. So it becomes at most necessity there. And I have already told you some trip or tips to increase your writing speed. One, always keep the same pen and things. Do not change the logistics, calculators and all. No? Plays an important role. Looks silly, but definitely helpful. Okay, because when you change, the moment you change, bring in a new pen or new calculator, your hands don't, doesn't move that freely as it moves before. Try to keep the same kind of logistics, whatever that you're using, continue. Okay, on the examination day, don't buy a new calci and new pen and go there. Buy it off before only and practice with that only so that it will help you there. Okay, so do concentrate on the timing uh, and just keep things calm. Okay, don't worry, there is always a higher power. You, you may not believe yourself that I will remember things, but our mind is just brilliant. If I just ask you, can you tell one of the childhood memory? There will be so many memories. Can you quote at least one? You don't have to tell me, but can you quote to yourself at least? Yes. yes. Maybe good or bad, you will be able to remember it. That would have happened almost 20 years back. 20 years back, something has happened and an instance notice you are able to recollect it. Then imagine what sort of capability your mind has. So your mind has an amazing capability. We are not just probably not tapping into it. Okay. So believe in yourself. There'll be many instances where many people will condemn you. They'll be like, what did you do? You are just a 40% holder. I've seen many people who have just scored 40, 50% in their 12th grade, scoring everything in first attempt and clearing the examination. People scoring 90, 95, taking attempts together and still not clearing. CA doesn't depend on your previous percentage. CA is on all about at this moment, what you're doing. Simple requirement, study once, revise once. If you do that, you will clear. Those people who do that will clear. Doesn't matter whether they are smart to dumb, bo, dumb, bo, dumb, doesn't matter. Okay. So just follow those. Don't overthink. My friend is following that book. He went to that coaching. He went to Chennai. He wrote his in the, uh, people are telling that in South India results are not good. I will go to North India and write exam. <laughs> All this, you leave it. Okay. All that is not in your hands. Okay. So just do your parts and write things. Okay, that all those are myths. North India, many people write examinations. Obviously, results will be more. South may down south when compared to north, south numbers are little less. So the results also could be less. So don't worry about all that stuff. That is not in our hands, no sir. Correct. Can we go to Himachal now and write exam? Huh? Uh, one day before examination, we'll book a flight and go and write. Huh? Uh, maybe because of that thunder and cold, you'll not even go to examination hall. Yes, no. So don't worry about all that stuff. Do what is in your hands. Fine up. And uh, make sure that you carry the requisite things to the examination. Double check on those. The hall tickets, calculator, logistics. 
remind everything in fact a day before only pack and do not have that habit of uh, i will study whole night sir one day before examination i've seen people whole night or they'll pull off no sleeping only full night studying 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 not a good thing your body needs some rest only then it will be able to kind of function the way you want it give some rest at least at least 4 hours of minimum sleep is required i slept for royally for 6 to 7 hours i never compromised on that okay i'm an i was an early morning person i used to sleep at like 9 o'clock i used to i don't mind waking up at 2 o'clock but i slept at least for 5 to 6 hours i never compromised on that and that is a myth who say that you have to study whole night and all not required that is only for those guys who have not touched the book till day. now they are touching the book they are feeling the book they are feeling nice about it and they want to study it will not happen don't treat your ca examination like bcom unnecessary you are putting yourself under pressure and i mean that is not a good feeling because one nobody likes to see that uh, what in their mask card fail yes no so let's not have it till now till from kindergarten till exam have we failed any exam so let's we should not fail CA examination also. Do the things that is required. Definitely you will come out with flying colors. All of us have done it. Obviously you guys can also do it. Fine. So wish you all the very best. Take care. Stay safe. And let us know how it went. Okay. Anything about the classes that you want to share? Uh... <laughs> oh my god <laughs> okay i thought that that got the dialogue went off in cricketing field and it looks like it is not going huh? okay okay someone is saying revision uh the, we have already done accounts advanced accounting both and even fm ka marathon is available already on the youtube you can just refer those it's available on the paid version also it's available in the youtube also revision videos you can watch it okay thank you as someone is saying i got my story finally yeah there you go <laughs> yes anything you would like to share pe online people i'm here if you have anything thank you thank you people thanks so much for the love Welcome, welcome. We'll continue the journey in CA final as well. Live online for final, sir. Definitely. Live online, face to face, whatever you're comfortable or recorded. Whatever floats your boat. Yeah, yeah, I'll be there. Oh, but love. Yeah, I'll be there. Let's see. Ah, oh, sure, we'll be so all right people online you've been a lovely audience i know that participating online in online mode is not that uh, nice as compared to face to face classes you know face to face class has their own maza and has its own fun so you've been great that you've been lot you've been participating a lot so it has helped me also to connect with you better so thank you for that continue this with the other subjects as well with the other teachers as well okay thank you can i log off online okay bye bye